Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of displaced intrauterine contraceptive device that is Kappa T in this case. A Middle East female patient with a history of using intrauterine contraceptive device, more specifically Kappa T, came for routine ultrasound scanning. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see the longitudinal section of the uterus. You can see a hyperechogenic foreign body noted at the cervical cavity. On transverse section, you can see the body of the uterus looks empty and when we come to the cervical region, you can see the hyperechogenic linear foreign body and it is embedded into the myometrium. This hyperechogenic structure is the copper T. You can see the horizontal part of the copper T in transverse section and you can see the vertical part of the copper T in longitudinal section. It should be at the upper part of the endometrial cavity. But here we can see this structure in the cervical cavity indicating displaced intrauterine contraceptive device. This patient was our hospital staff and she gave us the history that this displaced condition was diagnosed about 5 months ago and she was afraid to remove that as it is embedded into the myometria. Here is the longitudinal section of the uterus and you can see the hyperechogenic linear structure that is the vertical part of the copper T at the cervical cavity and it is casting faint acoustic shadow. On transverse section, you can see that the horizontal part embedded into the lower uterine myometrium. So this is the longitudinal and transverse section of the intrauterine contraceptive device, more specifically copper T. Again, the image of the copper T in longitudinal and transverse section. So in summary, a T-shaped hyperechogenic foreign body is noted at the cervical cavity. The horizontal part appears to be embedded into the myometrium, suggesting displaced intrauterine contraceptive device. Now the take-home message. Sometimes you may face confusion between copper T and ecogenic endometrium. Take the history from the patient and patient will guide you about having copper T. She may also help you about the type of intrauterine contraceptive device she is using. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.